All right, first of all, we're gonna remove the plastic panel. It's uh, pushed to lock, so it's pretty easy to pull off. Just grab a big portion of it on either side and pull straight back. And then uh, we've already pre-leased, loosened the screws here, so for the uh, OBD connection. Uh, next, we're going to take our digital voltmeter, not a test light, a digital voltmeter, and we're going to back probe these wires that are coming out of the ignition switch, which is right here. We're going to determine which wires are battery, which wires are ignition, and um, then we're going to disconnect and strip the wires back and hook it up. So I'm going to push this little button here. It releases the tang on the ignition switch and you just pull gently back and that's your ignition switch plug. And the key is off so we aren't going to have any ignition and we're going to put our voltmeter on DC. We're going to ground one end of it and we're going to probe our wires and it just so happens that on this I know that the blue with red is 12 volts straight from the battery. And there it is right there. So I probe. And there's our voltmeter reading, 12.7. Okay. Okay, so I just happen to know that this orange and white wire pair here are ignition hot. That means with the key on, they will be the same as battery voltage but only with the key on. So I'm going to plug this back in and I'm going to again take my voltmeter and I'm going to probe the orange and white wire back probe it and I have no voltage and I'm going to start the, the coach Once again, we're seeing battery voltage only with the engine running. Go ahead and shut it off. We're going to unplug the ignition cable from the ignition switch. And we're going to end up stripping a section of wire off of this and off of one of these for a connection to our two wires on our GPS. Okay, as you can see, we're reading battery voltage on the ignition wire. These happen to be the white with orange. And we're going to turn the key off. The blue with red, or the battery wire, is hot all the time with the engine off. That will be hooked to your red wire. And I probe that into the connector blue with red. Okay, I've disconnected the uh, ignition switch cable plug and we're going to strip back our two wires that we're going to be soldering to. And I'm just going to use a pair of wire strippers and select 20 gauge and I'm going to lightly crimp it and then pull the insulation back long enough to hook a wire around it and we'll do the same with this wire which is 16 gauge so there I've got both wires stripped back and if you have to you can take a semi dull razor blade and remove a little bit more. You don't want to have something too sharp where you cut any of the uh, copper. You just want to get the insulation off. So I'll go ahead and prepare those wires and uh, we'll get ready to solder. And again, this is a, a dull razor blade. You don't want to cut the copper wire. Okay. 
you've got a small pair of cutters, you can cut off the excess. Just be careful not to touch the two wires together. And those are ready for us to attach the GPS wires to. At this point, before this, you could have disconnected your battery and it'll uh, secure the connection so you don't have any shorts. Okay, according to the instructions, the, uh, the green and yellow wires are not used. So what I did was I cut the tinned wire portion off these wires. I'll cut one a little bit shorter than the other. And then we'll just put this back against the harness and tape it up so that the wires don't uh, touch anything underneath the dash. So now that's ready to go. The red wire is going to go to our battery hot all the time. Our white wire is going to go to battery hot with ignition on only and the black wire is going to go to ground. As supplied, the wires are tinned, which makes them very stiff. So what we're going to do is cut off the tin portion of the battery wires and strip them back again so they're easier to wrap around the wires. And then we're going to take the red which is battery hot all the time and we're going to wrap it around our positive lead and we're going to solder that and then we'll move over to the white wire. So our battery is disconnected out front so we're just going to apply a little heat And just enough solder to where you can see it flow over the joint. You don't want an excessive amount. And that's done. And then we'll do. Just enough to flow the solder. Doesn't take a lot. piece of tape here. Do the same to the battery hot wire. And all the tape here is for is not to hold the wire but to protect it from shorting out on anything metal underneath the dash. Okay and now we're going to add a length of ground wire to this because we're, we don't have a ground anywhere near this plug. So we're gonna put on eight inches of any kind of wire, black wire, so we can hook it to a ground lug. Okay, I'm gonna trim off this end because it's been tinned with solder and it's hard to twist. And I'm gonna strip back a little bit and I'm gonna add a little bit of wire length to it so we can make sure our ground is in a place where we can get to it. And 
and again we're just waiting to see the solder start to flow. We're going to put a little piece of tape around right above the uh, joint as a stress relief so the wires are re more relaxed. I'm going to plug it back in. our ignition switch. There it is. Now we're going to route our cable up to underneath the dash to a location that's as close to the top of the dash as we can get it so that the signal can be received by the satellite. All right, I'm going to install a ground lug on our ground wire here. Um, And I've got special pliers here, but any crimper will work. It's not a critical thing since there's no real current, high current flowing through it. You could even solder this if you wanted. So there's our ground. And now we, now we need to um, install the uh, module onto the, the harness and then find a place up in the dash that we can secure this that's as high up as we can get. We probably want to make it so that it's as close to this level as possible unobstructed by any sheet metal that may be in the dash. Okay so we're gonna feed our ground wire up here out of the way so it doesn't get caught on by anybody's big feet or anything. We found a ground wire that was hooked to here and we're just going to use that same screw. Nobody's foot's going to get caught on it. We're good to go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to tape this battery to the fuse holder just so it doesn't rattle around underneath the dash. You probably don't want to tape the battery to the transmitter because you don't want anything obstructing the transmitter from sending the signal to the satellite. Okay, so we're going to wrap the transmitter in some foam because we're going to be shoving it up under the dash in an area where we can't secure it with anything once it's up in there. So um, All right, so we're going to take the excess cabling and we're just going to zip tie it to some other wires that are stable 
so it doesn't flop around and drop down to where it might get caught in the driver's feet when he's applying the pedals. Two here and two here. There it is. Perfect. Oh. Just two screws back in for your OBD. And there you go. All set.